Right then, in this video, um, let's create some smoke. So I'll just hide that. I'll close that image that I'm not using. Nope, I don't need to save the changes to that. So file open, and I'm going to use this smoke image, which handily has already got the, the background cut off. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into my image. Okay, and I'm just going to take it out of the um, the ground layer. This is going to be in a new group um, in a minute. And then I'm going to need to shrink this down. So free transform by pressing Control and T. I need to find a corner. And then I'm going to press Shift and just scale this down until it fits. Which might take... Oh no, I've lost it. Uh, it might take a few goes. So, there we go. That's now almost the right sort of size. So, the size I want is probably about that sort of size. I'm just going to rotate it slightly. And let's put it into position. So, I'm going to want to put it about there. Sort of off into the background. Like that. And then I'm going to press enter when I'm happy with it and I'm just gonna put this into a new group so control and G I'm gonna call that group smoke and fire because that's what I'm gonna put in there that makes sense doesn't it right uh, next then I just want to erase some parts of the smoke to try and make it blend in a little bit and look like it's dying off um, as it sort of gets further away from whatever the explosion was so in order to do that, I want my eraser tool. I'm going to not have too big of an eraser for this, and I'm going to drop my opacity right down to about 20, no, 15. Let's try that. Okay, and then I'm just going to keep sort of erasing my way down this, just to keep layering up this effect. I actually do want a bigger brush for this, I think you'll see that as you keep doing this it'll slowly just start to make the smoke dissipate a little bit so I'm just clicking lots and lots and drawing over and over and that's now just starting to have an effect as you can see on this smoke and that now just dies off into the distance starts to go a little bit see-through just going to take the edges off a little bit as well so there we go I'm, I'm happy with that that's erased some smoke. That's fairly cool looking. Um, okay, and then we need to color correct it and tell it that it's got a light source as well. So the first thing we're going to do with this smoke is we're going to get busy with the adjustment layers. So let's add a gradient map to it. Ta-da! As you can see, if we don't tell it to be a clipping mask, it'll go all kinds of crazy. And then we need to set these um, colors. So I'm going to set this second color to a nice gray, so 56, 56, 56. And then you'll see that that'll have an effect on the smoke. So there you go. Um, and then what I think I'll do next, because I'm not too happy with that gradient mask at the moment. I'm just going to turn the effects of it down because I do want to keep some detail on on that smoke. It's about about a fifty percent, I think. Looks quite nice. Okay. Uh, no, in fact, let's put it back up at hundred percent. I'll do it with with a paint. Okay, so once you've set that color, you're going to start painting with a soft round brush for the foreground color. Um, set to black so soft round brush yep opacity 100% okay in fact I've just been using the wrong thing so let's try this again so soft round brush up to about that size opacity 100% foreground color set to black okay and we're just now going to paint some of this smoke and as you can see as I do it that's going to set foreground colour and it's going to make it like it's got a light source hitting one side of it. So just paint one side, leave the back side of it. 
okay and then we're going to add a new adjustments layer to it as well and this is going to be a levels layer and what we're going to do is we're just going to move this highlights to about 95 I'll leave mine at 97 I think then what you have to do is clip it to um, our layer so create clipping mask so it's just affecting the smoke and this time we're going to paint again um, so in the levels layer mask which is this little chap here you're going to use a soft round brush we'll make it a bit smaller so we've got more precise control on it so about 20 and making sure that black is your foreground colour you're just going to paint a bit more precisely down one side of um, this smoke again so I'm just going to paint along this one side like this there you go just get a little bit in there that I missed so that now looks like it's more definitely hitting one side of the, the smoke and then once you've done just reduce the opacity of that layer down a bit so let's try it about 80 80 odd percent yeah that looks pretty cool okay um, we just need to mess with this smoke a little bit more and then we can hopefully leave leave this step alone so we're going to create a new color balance adjustment layer uh, which is this little chap here we need to set the colors again so um, the midtones I'm going to set to 18 1 minus 6 I think so 18 1 minus 6 and at the moment it's actually changing all of our colors which I don't want so I'm just going to clip this to just the smoke okay and then I'm going to set the shadows to 400 zero, zero. that's all I need for that and I'm going to set the highlights to 16.92 and you'll see the effect that that has as you type it in 9 and 2 okay so I'm quite happy with that, that looks pretty cool um, we're going to reduce the opacity of the colour balance adjustment layer to about 30% we don't want to overdo that effect so you can see it's just a subtle effect adding a little bit of redness to it um, and we're going to change the blending mode of this to overlay which again will change the effect that it's having as soon as I can find overlay there we go so you can see now the effect that that's having on the smoke right um, so what we're going to do and the next step is just add um, some orange to the bottom of this to make it look like an explosion is happening or there's a fire at the bottom of it. Um, so we'll get into that in the next step and we'll see you there.